Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch educator and today we're talking about lettering and we're going to talk about how you can manipulate lettering around on a free line and it's really cool once you get the hang of it. So let's start with our lettering. So I'm going to open up my lettering toolbox. Let's go to lettering and we're just going to keep it short because we don't want to go around too far. So we're going to digitizing and we'll just shorten it to me which is really funny and I want you guys to go down and I want you to pick here any shape and once you click on that nothing really happens does it no until you go to reshape and then this is where the magic is going to happen so you have a baseline and you know if you can pick different ones straight fixed circle um, free line uh, vertical the whole bit this one's really special because what you can do is click on it that's a left click and you can change your baseline and that one doesn't look great so I have it selected you can see because it's dark blue and I'm gonna hit the space bar and that's gonna make it curve let's do that again and let's pull it up and I do want I could have right clicked but I didn't um, and there you go you have it around now the problem is right now that doesn't look very nice because it's a pretty good curve isn't it so what I want you to do is take see how hot pink they are and you can kern it yourself so you can move the letters and all I'm doing is left clicking and dragging you can move the letters into spots that look a lot better and move them apart and you can keep playing around with it. I think I want my N over there a little bit. And you can change the line just by right or left clicking to follow any design that you have and just kern them. Now, there's a couple of other things that I wanted to show you. If you grab this, you can make the line longer and everything's going to move around and then we would just kern the lettering a little bit if you wanted to make it bigger or smaller let's go on here and look how it changes the whole thing we got quite a curve in there and it's going to make it bigger let's put it smaller again not too small just small enough and then this one makes it longer but notice it's longer on both ends and if you go too far it gets kind of wonky so back it up just a little bit and that makes it longer to fit in see we could make it longer and everything moves and let's do it like this let's kern the lettering so you can add lettering on any design any shape any anything and because we still have it as lettering we can just simply go in and change any font and you might have to because remember I kerned them you can again move them over you can do quite a few things with them play around with all of these little things but because it's still um, a letter and it reads it as such now look when we click off isn't that great we could have so much fun with that so that is the any shape line and to access it we're going to go back into reshape because I just decided I wanted this changed a little bit and we're going to make it just a little bit smoother and see that looks absolutely fantastic and that is how you shape lettering to any line here inside hatch embroidery software thanks everyone for watching have fun playing with your lettering don't forget to kern and make it look pretty and i'll see you guys in the next video